This is Excalibur Heavy Battle Cruiser, and today we're back at it with the Utopia Must Fall. Ooh boy. After some digging around the Pixel Gems Discord server, I discovered some builds that can carry me to over 100,000 score. With that said, let's get started. Now this build in particular really requires careful play. Because it requires my shield to be taken down entirely. Now that my shields are gone, I can resume firing and just take down everything. I'm of course talking about the Berserker build. And it very much is as hectic as you would think. Because one shot from an enemy and I die. Now I will be taking nuclear weapons lab just so I can just so I can get an upgrade later on that helps me out. It's more so a bonus than an upgrade. Look at that, the commando upgrade. And with that, let's get rationed warheads and increase production. Well, one of them got away. Let me get some extra fire rate. And uh, let's see what else we can get. I guess we'll settle for extended mangrail. See what else we can get. I guess I'll have to settle for antimatter warheads. Sure, took out quite a lot of enemies. And let's take another fire rate upgrade. Well, I guess I'll have to settle for improved gimbal speed. Thank you. 
There we go. The Berserker Charter. Right now, though, I definitely need extra Daka. Which Twin Shot will help me out a lot with. That was quick. Probably because it's still the early game. to get sawn off barrels just for that ex extra velocity I wish I had some watch showers with me There we go, the Institute of Automation. Now I'll get some much needed help. Especially considering how squishy I am. Is quite a lot of blue guys. There we go. Hmm, upgrade time. Let's get my first watchtower and a second one. Of course it manages to shield itself before I kill it. Use its own missile against it. These other enemies are just body blocking. Let me get some extra fire rate. Of course, it hides. There we go. Next up, let's reroll it and if see what else I can get. You know what? Advanced Materials Lab. I'll need that for a whole bunch of stuff. Ranging from extra watchtowers to buffing up my turret.
There we go. Now that I have over 26 nukes, I got the Cold War bonus. There we go, superconducting mag rail. And as much as I want fire rate, I think I could probably use something else. Well, I'm gonna have to settle for fire rate indeed. The thing in question was... The upgrade a lot that allows me to have two more outposts. Two more watchtowers. We roll around and uh eh. I guess triple shot it is. Fella. And of course it shields itself. Wasted a nuke. Made good use of one of them. Probably could have done worse. There we go, superconductive components. I really need that. That's a lot of red things. Hmm. Let's make one of them high frequency. I wish I got a third watchtower than that, but... Gotta settle with up with those upgrades. Well, it's those purple guys. Unfortunately, one of my watchtowers died, and it's the high-powered one. That thing's gonna take quite a bit longer to come back. Oh, there goes my other watchtower. Close calls indeed. Well, time to get my third watchtower. Oh, turns out you can also... Change the targeting modes of each individual watchtower between waves, at least. Oh, 
Oh, it's this fella. Get some, let's get some extra fire rate as well. Well, it's those purple guys again. And just like that, with one nuke, I wiped out that entire wave. Or at least that entire formation. There's still these guys to take care of. Although they're nowhere near as bad. Upgrade time, and uh, let's get my fourth watchtower. And as well, and I might as well get alpha automation as well. Oh look, it's those hammerhead looking things. Hammerhead acting things more like. These calls are getting closer and closer. And what? Extended plasma decay it is. Because it unlocks an upgrade that is kind of iffy honestly. But it does have its benefits as well. Okay, that bomb was a bit too close for comfort. And I don't enjoy this thing, these guys showing up. Disabler guy, die. Yeah, my turret definitely doesn't feel as strong as it used to. Enemy health scaling for you. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm talking about. Tactical nukes. Although at this rate, I think optimized operations is better. Because my watchtowers do take a lot of damage. And I need them to come back up as fast as, they, as possible. I don't like the sounds of that. Well, to 
of my watchtowers have taken beatings. Pretty uncertain things happen now, happening now. Hmm, as much as I want maximum fire rate. Actually, I'll take it. These guys had to body block. Can't lie, can't let my life be easy, can you, enemies? Guess I'll take tactical nukes at this rate. Heavy units down. <laughs> Close calls indeed. Let's get my fifth watchtower. I definitely like the music here though, it's very spooky and unsettling. My final watchtower. I think I may actually be able to afford it now, now that I have six watchtowers.
Oh, there goes a lot of those enemies. Uh-oh. Whew, that timing was impeccable. If it wasn't for that timing, I would have actually died. That carpet bomber thing is one of the scariest enemies in the entire game. An orbital blunderbuss. This thing's gonna be dope. that while I still can. to get another high frequency laser and this thing shall also target the weakest need to reduce the enemy dps as much as i can The game really does pick up around these parts. High frequency laser. It's kind of awesome now that I have four of them which are upgraded. And they have shields! I just what I needed. Shielded tanks, or whatever they're called.
day 30. Let's see what this thing brings me. This fella. It is pretty hilarious though that the music is as tense and ridiculous. Even though the gameplay still is very much tense and horrifying. Pretty unsettling, but the previous one straight up felt like horror. <laughs> that felt satisfying. What's not satisfying, however, is these guys showing up. Well, try as you might, the enemies will get you. And unfortunately, my timing this time around wasn't up to standard. Oh boy, though. At least I went a lot further than before. Almost getting to 400,000. Overall, the build is very fun and hectic. Although, definitely not for the faint of heart. But then again, neither is the game's music. It, it definitely does feel pretty unsettling. What's also pretty hilarious is the tonal shift. Even though the game's music can go from being really spooky and horrifying, it, it, it almost even turns whimsical with the game over screen. Which, I guess, fits? So yeah, this was Utopia Must Fall with the Berserker build. My name is Excalibur Heavy Battlecruiser, and as always, may the forks be with you all.